Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436-174-195316097, Instagram, JC's Comics and More, www.jccscomicsmore.com, and email jccscomicsandmore at hotmail.com. Doing a quick video on some of these horror, Marvel horror comics from the 70s reprints. Got the first issue of Beware. This great cover here. The Werewolf. This came out in March of 73. The Werewolf Who Was Afraid. The Werewolf Was Afraid. These are just great old reprint. You get a chance to pick these things up. Now, they're not quite as cheap as you might think they should be. But, again, these things are pretty damn cool. You get some Jack Kirby. There's Ditko. There's... Jim Mooney, there's, God, there's just so many classic artists that are in here in these comics. Behind the door, again, all this horror and and just suspense. You got one here about death. He uh, he captured death, and they always have the, the, the atypical shock endings. And then you've got cool stuff like this here. You got a house ad for uh, Supernatural Thrillers number two with the Invisible Man. And of course, you got the Marvel bullpen bulletins with all the great stand soap boxes. So, get this issue number two. Beware, John Romita cover. He's uh, on a blind date with death, and in most parts, the uh, the cover was the lead story. And he gets to the right with this hot redhead. Hate to ask you, I hate I hate you enough for right now. I ask you for the last time: Are you going to let me keep my appointment? We all know where this is heading, don't we? Here we got O'Malley's friend, the early Gene Cohen artwork. Again, this 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 is just some great old comics with some great old stories. And again, these ads, conservation. There's one. Welcome to Man's Country. We'll show you that one. Man from Mars. These great ads for the old comics, comic fans. You must read the Comic Collector. One million dollars free cash. Again, comic books, Monster Ghost, Voice of Doom. Beware number three. It's the Rich Buckler and Joe Sennett cover. The Gypsy's Curse. Don't ever jip a gypsy. She pulls out a knife on him. That's like Chuck's little, Chuck's a grandpa right there. See? This was, this was current times. Be like. So you come to rob me. You're foolish. Of course, they, the gypsy shows that you can't kill her. And then they get insidious plans uh, of their own. Blow yourself up. How Joe solved his security problem. Some Basil Warburton's in these books also. We're doing uh, two videos. We've got this one here, and then we're going to have a second one as well. Marion's Murderer. Outdoor Career. Again, you've got Cream Magazine. Get creamed. Read America's only rock and roll magazine and wear a cream t-shirt. The favorite of the stars, designed by R. Crumb. Be the first in your block to get all the latest poop on comics, movies, trash, and especially rock and roll music. Free records with the subscriptions. Check us out with your newsstand today. Or send $3 for a t-shirt and a sample copy. Or $0.25 cents for a sample copy alone, copy alone. And details on how you can be counted among the elite. Don't delay. Do it today. Cream Marvels. P.O. Box 202. Wallowed Lake, Michigan, 48088. Up in Michigan. Never really knew that. There's the comic, the comic strip book. Become a master of karate. You got an ad about Foom. You got Beware, number four. The Gil Kane cover. The thing on Haunted Hill. Stanley and Carmen Infantino did this. It does not like Car look like Carmen's work at all from Flash or Nova. And look at this here. Forever is a long time. It sure as hell is. He's got himself a genie in the bottle. Sometimes the genie in the bottle thing doesn't work out quite the way you would like it to. 
Shriek in the Night. Savage Tales uh, house ad. Look at, Look at this guy. Man, murder, mayhem. Trying to save the hot, pretty girl. And, ooh, she had her reasons. Or he had his reasons. Of course, she had her reasons, too. The Man Who Walked on Water. This guy here just, uh, boy. J. Scott uh, Pike did the artwork on this. I see his stuff in quite a few of these. Tells you how to walk on water. And, of course, the shock ending. Here, several of these also do have the, uh, uh, the in the bullpen bulletins, announcing the passing of Bill Everett. There's some that also have the passing of Sid Shores. But here you've got a Conan the Barbarian giant size. Uh, I'm not sure if this ever came out. But it's Barry Smith artwork there. We've got this great house ad. So look at that there. Standing in the water. A bunch of dead bodies all around them. Here we've got Chamber of Chills number two. Gil Kane cover. Tom Palmer inks. Robert E. Howard, creator of Conan, the monster from the mound. This uh, was original uh, original stuff. Gardner Fox and uh, Frank Bruner. The horror from the mound. See, they've got it wrong on the front. It's the horror from the mound. Uh, to Stan Lee and Roy Thomas. Entire issue produced by. So you've got original. You've got an original story here. And there we've got some stuff at the bottom there. So promoting different books. There's The Invisible Man. Another house ad from The Invisible Man. You've got house ads for the Monster of Frankenstein and Crypt of Shadows number one. Monster of Frankenstein just became Frankenstein, but for whatever reason, Marvel put the Monster of Frankenstein on the front. But you got this great house ad there. That's uh, artwork by George Tuska for the Adventures of Corgi Boy. It's even greater than you dared hope it would be. The Monster of Frankenstein. Thrill to it today. Here we got Steve Gerber, P. Craig Russell, or Craig Russell, Dan Atkins, plot and inking. This ad for the Saturday morning cartoons, because cartoons are rolling on Saturdays and Sundays. Here we got Spell of the Dragon, a Timeless Adventure of Brock the Barbarian. Script by John Jakes, creator of Brock, art by Val Merrick, and Joe Sinnott, and plot and layout by uh, Dan Atkins. This is uh, great stuff, too. You cried for it, you asked for it, cried for it, demanded it. Well, the Crypt of Shadows now and say, well, that'll teach you. <coughs> yeah, that'll teach you. Just when you thought we ran out of titles to come up with War as Hell, capture it right now. He has to fight this monster. It looks like a big old dinosaur or a Tyrannosaurus or an Allosaurus. Kills it. And, of course, I won't show you what the ending is. Eat all the food you love and still lose weight. Three big graphing kits given to you. Chop Cycles. I had some of these when I was a kid. It was, it was a lot of fun to play with. Chamber of Chills, number four. This is a Frank Bruner cover. Again, uh, Maddening Tales. Uh, a Tale of Maddening Madden, Madden Menace of John Jakes and Edgar Allan Poe. The opener of the crypt. Again, an original story. John Jakes, based on his uh, short story and art by Frank Bruner. And it shows a little bit of Edgar Allan Poe that uh, that this must have been somewhat even based upon. Get a vampire bat. He's 11 years old and he sells uh, $75 to $100 a week. Young Donald Trump right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that Frank Bruner artwork. Oh, God, how great that is. Then you have this, Pawn of the Devourer. Uh, Steve Skeets, uh, Scott Pike, and Frank Monty. Uh, I can't say that uh, Scott and Frank, I really know who they are. you got these ants that's encouraging this guy to eat them. I want to show you what happened there. Gardner Fox, Howard Chaik, and Joe Sinnott, and Roy Thomas, a demon from beyond. Again, all original. Look, some hot babes there. Hot tower chicken babes. A full page ad for Foom, Friends of Old Marvel. Things make you an offer you can't re refuse. Never finished high school? Now you can get your diploma without going back. 
from Wayne Schools. Uh, Chamber of Chills, number five. Uh, look at that crazy guy right there. Can't remember what cartoon I saw him in. Uh, there's some cartoon that uh, character. Oh, that's uh, Squidbillies. If you watch Squidbillies, the uh, the guy that runs the uh, the, the carryout kind of looks like that. Unfortunately, this uh, was uh, was creased. Hard to say who did the artwork on this. I want to say uh, Tom Palmer did the inks. You know, very possible. It's you know, maybe it's um. Okay, sorry about that. The uh, the uh, battery died on me. I think the, uh, saying that might be a buckler cover with uh, Tom Palmer inks. But here we go. Larry Liebner, Scott, uh, J. Scott Pike, Chick Stone. Got some hot redhead there. Dressed in uh, dressed in green like uh, most redheads, the Phoenix colors. Hand to hand my daughter. I'll do your bid and let my Teresa be. But tell me, how did an ugly wench like yourselves, sir, such a fair female? We got evil, some evil country. Some overlord. We got witchcraft. This is probably uh, some Asian, Asian country there. Look at him. He wants. He wants to. He wants to um, do some adios on her. El Presidente. Ru, ru, numero uno. The ruler of Costa Costa Gay. Costa Guy. Uh oh. The president has taken leave of his absence. Great story. Look at her. Ooh, I am indeed the luckiest of men. I have wealth, power, and the most beautiful woman. True, but not for long. Mm-hmm. Careful what you wish for. Get another Fumad. We got Hunt, Hunt and Run. Paul Rain, Stony Tony Isabella, Ernie Early, Early Tony Isabella uh, story. I think he was still writing comics or writing in uh, comics at this point. There's only a three three part story. Can't miss. That's an old reprint. Two by any other. Don McGregor, art by Sid Shores, who uh, did pass away. We'll see his name in some of the uh, the bullpen bulletins announcing that his uh, his passing. Chamber of Chills number six. John Romita cover. Got some uh, thing, muck thing, poop thing. Mud thing, Paul Raymond, John uh, was it Al Albano, David Hunt. David Hunt also did the coloring. Charlotte Jetter did the lettering, and Roy Thomas edited. You see these people in the front here, and they're actually not in the comic for very long. Here you go, live and work in man country. That that, that wouldn't fly these days. Very cool story. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Okay, any questions, just let me know. Again, a lot of these had new stories in them. Here we go, Where There's a Will, Steve Skates, Wayne uh, Miromoto, Frank McLaughlin. Frank uh, ended up working for DC, good part of his career. Again, you got Savage Tales, House Ad, House Ad. Another werewolf story. Sight for sore eyes. Harvester of eyes. Train at home to be a veterinary assistant. There you go. There's the grit guy again. Ripping out some eyes. I'm not going to show you what happened there. Again, uh, there's the uh, memorial for Bill Everett. And here's the first house ad for Crazy. Um, Marvel's Answer the Mad. As you can see, reading more but enjoying it less. Four out of five leading funny people agree the new giant size crazy is the funniest magazine published today. On sale July 10th, 1973. Mark that down as a time in history. Chamber shows number seven. Certainly a Romita cover, or at least Romita inks. 
Again, a werewolf, lots of werewolf stories. Vampires, werewolves, the running theme. Death Notice. Uh, this is no longer an original story, so they so seem to have stopped the original stories at that point. Roach creates a monster, monster piece. You can get all these shirts at one point. Look at the Amazing Spider-Man, Steve Ditko. Got the Incredible Hulk, that's our Herb Tramp. Keep on trucking, you got Popeye, you got Captain America. A new Grit Boy. And you got Pray for Keeps. This seems to be this the original story. Uh, Doug Moach, Ron Wilson, and Jack Abel. But I'm looking at it, and I really don't see Ron Wilson. To me, it looks a lot like, in some parts, look like a lot like Don Perlin. Especially this werewolf here. Looks a lot like Don Perlin. And this uh, is not credited, but that's Gene Colon. Your Spider-Man medallion coin. Get the Chamber of Darkness special. Five Tales of Maddening Magic. This is a John Romita cover. It's all uh, new stuff, I believe, or maybe it's reprinted. I'd have to check. Uh, but John uh, Stanley and John Basama. Lots of John Basama stuff in this issue. And of course, you got the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, house ad in this as well. So double. This is this is a double. Uh, you get Denny O'Neill. Tom Sutton, Mr. Craven buys the Scream House. Early Denny O'Neill script at Marvel, considering he did most of his work at DC. Always leave them laughing. Gary Frederick, Don Heck, Frank Giacola. I'm going to pause this real quick while I get my phone. Okay. Okay, we're back here. Again, got this great Don Heck artwork. Look, it's the Creeper. Tammy Wynette. Look at that, a full page ad on Tammy Wynette. You got the Face of Fear. Again, Sid Shores, Archie Goodwin, written. Marvel, again, another Marvel stand soapbox. These things are so cool. Talking about Gary Conway. The Day of the Red Death. Roy Thomas. More Don Heck. Just some great astonishing Don Heck artwork. Here's a house ad for Captain America 143 and Iron Man 43. Now Crypt of Shadows number two. Yeah, I can't, not sure exactly who did the art on this. This might have been, who knows, this might have been Sid Short that did the art on that. The Death of Danny. We've got a hot blonde wife. The Man Who Couldn't Move. Stan Lee and GT. I think that's uh, George Tuska. Yeah, that's George Tuska artwork. Early George Tuska. This stuff is very, very good. Again, so we're going to George Tuska, The Adventures of Corky Boy. And it's a bystander. Not quite so innocent. Going down, Joe Manley. We'll Go Nage Artist. Through the door. Again, just a uh, just crazy. Uh, I won't give away the, the, the shock ending on that. That's another bullpen bulletin. Move to Crypto Shadows number three. That's a Ramita cover. Dead Man's Hand. Paul Rainman and uh, Stan Lee. Or Rainman. Strange game, there it is. There's the game. Usually it's the, the first uh, story, but this uh, this one was not. Darkness. There's the walking ghost. 
again some of these ads are just so cool worth the worth the worth the price of the book sometimes you know, crypto shadows number four again john romita cover john did a lot of these covers locked up carmen infantino again this looks nothing like his flash stuff hard to believe carmen's been a uh, around or had been around since the uh, 1940s doing artwork his monkey does his ape looks like his stuff though big story there's ben Urich. And again, a shock ending. The screaming man. Here it is. Here's the uh, thing I was looking for. Uh, comic collector's guide. This ended up becoming the comics buyer's guide. And like this ended up becoming the comics buyer's guide. So an ad for the early ads for the comics buyer's guide. There's a story they're just calling Joe. Look, man's wig's only $7.95. It's an outstanding outdoor career. It used to be called Man's Country. Here we have a full page ad for The Haunt of Horror from Marvel. Crypto Shadows number five. Again, uh, I believe a Romita cover, or at least uh, most of it. Face doesn't look quite like John, though. I die too often. It almost looks like Gil Kane artwork in some places. Might be early Gil Kane artwork. Because that looks like Gil Kane. That looks like Gil Kane. The Man Who Steals Gravestones. Sol Broski. Did the artwork. And that ghoul. You got the uh, here's where the Red Lobster got their name from. They saw it in this comic book. Hey, Red is Lob Red Lobster. We're gonna call ourselves that. Can you get Savage Tales? Uh, Ed, there's Mr. Grit, half man, half. Again, there we go. Another uh, full page ad for that Conan special, Barry Smith, and of course the Bill Everett uh, memorial. Crypt of Shadows number number six. Gil Kane cover. Bury me deep. Don't bury me deep. Bill Everett. This is old Bill Everett story. Again, you get all kinds of just great artwork. See, there you go. Living man, living working man country. This stuff is just so cool. Hey, how you doing? Thousand years. There's another house that's for crazy. So see if I can find the uh, at the bottom here. They like to have uh, sort of the teasers. And there was something I think for crypt of crypt of shadows. Maybe it was one of these other ones where it's like told you to bring your shovel. Crypt of Shadows number eight. <coughs> hard to say who did the artwork on this here. It's not very distinguished, so it's hard to tell. Again, another werewolf story. Crazy werewolf looks like a vermin from uh, from Spider-Man. You can get six LPs or five tapes. Ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Smile, blast your smile. Man who made a wish. Deep grave, cold grave. Aren't they all? Holy smokes. Look at him. Holy smokes, money. You guys have to get money. Holy smokes, money. But that's uh, and then on the back cover here we'll end up with the uh, with this cool Evil Knievel ad for the uh, for the toy company. If you do like these uh, these videos, certainly subscribe. If you do subscribe, smash that bell for notification. Other than that, thank you.